Hey there. You know, I was watching this video of a little hedgehog. You may have seen it too. And it's in a little ball, basically, and it's given a treat. And it's little hands flail, flail out, and it just rolls. I've watched it over and over. It kills me. And I think it's important, two things about that, that it's important that we seek balance in our life. We've got so much stress to deal with as humans, so much stuff we got to take care of, and people we got to take care of, and this, that, and the other, that it's important that we, you know, keep the child inside of us alive and and happy, <laughs> and that means doing whatever you need to do to to have that balance, you know, to stay uh, a little bit childlike and joyful. You know, life is hard. Sometimes we need to look at a hedgehog or a kitty cat and see what's happening in that. Another thing it reminded me of, though, is that that's how it is sometimes with people. Sometimes you think the people that are the cuddliest and the sweetest and the funniest actually have a lot of prickles. And you think, you know, oh, I think I know who this is because they're just so fun and cuddly and whatnot that you realize that, you know what, that person maybe is a little bit more prickly than I thought. And maybe what I decided they were about is not what they're truly about anyway. So you got to kind of take time to find out. And then sometimes it's the other way. Sometimes you see the prickles right off the bat. And sometimes you yourself may have a, quite a few prickles too. And somebody tries to get to that soft belly part <laughs> or get you off your cushion to roll around part. And they're not going to be able to do that too easily because... The prickles are protecting you. The prickle, prickles keep you safe. The prickles keep you from being absorbed by others, but they also keep you sometimes isolated, alone. And sometimes they keep other people. If it's other people's prickles, they keep themselves in a position that takes a lot of patience and time maybe to get through. Sometimes, you know, a person can be real prickly. But if you give them time and let trust develop, let trust go and build, you find they got that soft, soft underbelly after all. That would be me. I think I used to be real prickly on the outside. And, and my husband would say, I'm still prickly, probably. But, you know, it's because I had to protect a lot of sensitivity that most people wouldn't even have a clue existed, see? So I guess going back over what I've said in a nutshell, basically, have fun in your life. Enjoy the small things. Keep the inner child alive, A. And B, be careful with the prickles, whether your own or other people. Sometimes they serve a good purpose, and sometimes they keep you safe, and sometimes they keep out what can be good and joyful, depending on which way you look at it and how you go about it. You always take time to find out exactly what them prickles there are for, whether they're on you or someone else.